Hello everyone. So I have picked up the new-ish bookbinding guide uh, that We Are Memory Keepers came out with. Uh, if you've seen some of my older videos, I did do a tutorial on how um, I did my stab binding based off of a very old Martha Stewart kit that I had. And I think that this tool is going to make it a lot easier to create some you know, handmade journals. So I figured I would go ahead and unbox it with you guys and then I will um, see how it works to put a journal together. So um, everything that comes in it is, I'm going to try and save the back in case I need it. Okay, that worked. Okay, so you get this pouch and then this tool to do the actual piercing into and I don't think I need either of those things. Okay. Um, does it come with instructions? <laughs> They're probably on the back. Okay. Yeah, here we go. So here's the piercing tool, which is it's gonna be pretty sharp. Um, and this nice little case that's I don't have anything um, to keep my stuff in so I'll probably put the extra Martha Stewart stuff that I have in that too and some wax thread and I do have um, this works really great I had run out and I was just using some cotton thread and it definitely does hold up better um, if you use the waxed thread so that's wonderful I'm glad to have more of that and then we've got a curved needle and we've got a straight needle. I'm gonna hold on to this. I might wanna stick this stuff back in there. Um, and the piercing tool. And then this is the instructions. So, um, okay, so it shows you the different stitches and there are some decorative ones in here so I think um let's see oh my these are some detailed instructions holy cow okay well I think I'll give it a try anyways oh there's a bunch of different ones here and then I guess it shows you which which piercings to do for each of those. Um, let's just do a regular one for now. I'm more familiar with that one, so I think I wanna do that um, first. And then, <laughs> depending on how that goes, or on how quickly that goes, maybe we'll try one of the fancy ones at the end as well. Um, okay, I'm gonna pause you guys for a second and grab some papers and get everything trimmed and ready to go, and then I will be right back and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do a couple different ones. Um, I'm going to start off with the easiest one. So I've grabbed, I'm using some papers from the um, Maggie Holmes Sunny Days collection. Um, and this one's the, um, I think they're calling this a saddle stitch. Yeah, this will be a saddle stitch, so it's, it's really easy to do. Um, so the first thing that they say to do is fold in the middle. I'm going to do mine separately. I did make my cover just an eighth of an inch larger than my paper all the way around. So I'm using regular computer paper. That's eight and a half by 11. So I just took this, went to eight and a half, and moved it over another eighth of an inch. And same thing, 11 and over another eighth of an inch, and then trimmed it down. Um, and that way they should fit together really nicely. So I've got that. Fold it to get my V. And then I'll do the same thing with this one. Sure it's as even as I can get it. And I'm just using um, five pages here for the inside. Okay. So I'll have 10 total and then the cover when it's folded. Okay, so we place the V together like this. Let's try and get that as even all the way around as I can and then take this off. And this should sit inside this. This sort of has a dip. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it sort of has like a, a V dip in it. So we're supposed to take the the dip here. Again, I'm just trying to keep that as center as I can. And then this also has 
like a V in it, if you can see that. So the V, you want the V um, pointing down and it'll, it'll just fit in there really nicely. And then you just use the screws to hold everything down. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna take my piercing tool and go right down the center using the, um, just the circles with the black, li black lines around them. So, and it'll go, wow, yeah, that's, that's really easy. And it beats using the um, clips that I used to use to hold everything in place. many papers you can do but I feel like that's a pretty deep um, the hole goes down pretty deep there so you could probably fit quite a few in here um, and also since it's so perfectly you know matched and even using that V you could probably do it in a couple different um, layers if you wanted to as well okay so I'm just gonna loosen the screws and move that look at that look how perfect that line is um, and it really easily went all the way through to my cover Okay, so I'm gonna get this out of the way and I'm gonna use the straight needle for this and grab some of the wax threads. So the way that I measure when I'm doing a saddle stitch, I'm not sure about the others, I'll have to figure that out, out as I go, is I know that I'm gonna be doing um, up and down twice. So I measure twice and then like another half just to give myself some extra leeway just in case. And then when you do the saddle stitch, you have to decide where you want your knot to be. So you can either have your knot on the inside or the outside. I like to have mine on the outside. Um, and you want to start in the middle. So I'm going to go in from the outside and then I will leave a tail. That should be good. And I'm going to go down every other hole. So. And it's okay if that first one's a little bit loose, it'll tighten up when you finish the book. So then I'm going to come up the next one, down the next one, up the next one, down the next one, up, down. And at this point, I want to make sure that my my lines are, are pretty tight because now when I do this loop, again, that first one, you don't have to worry about too, too much because you're going to you're going to tighten that when you do the final knot. But um, I want to make sure these are as, you know, pretty, pretty tight. And then now that I've now that I've come up this last hole, I'm going to loop around and I come through the same hole again and you want to keep this taut but remember you're working with paper so you don't want it to be so tight that you um, tear your paper so tight but not like crazy tight just just make sure you keep it so that it's nice and um, you don't have like a you know a wobbly loop down at the bottom okay and then I'm gonna do the same thing again so I'm just gonna go every other one and you'll see that's gonna fill in so we have a straight line of stitching and that, that'll be all the way up um, on the inside and the outside and that just makes it super super sturdy. Keep doing that. Okay. Here. And now I'm just going to be careful because I have my my end here so I'm just gonna make sure that I don't pull that through but I'm gonna go up through that same hole that I started with just double checking that there and then I'll do the same thing again I'm just gonna go every other one so down and then up down and up Down, 
down and uh, okay so again I'm at the edge so I'm gonna make sure that these stitches are you know not crazy tight but nice and taut and then I'm gonna loop I'm in the last hole so I'm gonna loop around I'll go back through the same hole to complete that and again you want it to be you know tight but not crazy tight just make sure you don't have any excess hanging around there and then I'll go back down and continue with every other one to fill in my line. Almost there. Okay. So now I'm back where I started. So this last one is going to be the only one that's not filled in, but we're going to fill that in when we knot it. So there you can see you've got the whole lines complete here and the whole lines complete here. I'm going to take my needle out and I'm just going to knot this together and I'm going to see if they have a recommended kind of knot. No. And I just usually do a regular knot anyways. I just wanted to see what they said. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie this off. I'm going to make pretty tight and then grab your scissors and just trim. I, I leave just a little bit of an excess there, you know, I don't want to get too, too close to that knot. And then if you don't like the look of that, you can always have your knot on the inside. You just would start opposite. You'd have your tail when you start with your first hole in the middle, you have your tail on the inside instead of on the outside. And that's that's how you switch that around. I always like mine on the outside. Another thing you can do is if you don't if you don't like having the knot on the outside or the inside, you can actually take washi tape and run that down and cover it and then there will be no knot and the only stitching you'll see will be on the inside. Um, but I, I kind of quite like the look of the, the stitching on the outside. I don't know, it just, it looks hand done and I like it. So I'm just gonna crease that. Make sure it stays nice and flat and then you're ready to go. You can decorate it up, write in it, whatever you're going to end up doing with it. So that is the basic saddle stitch um, for the journals. Okay, so for this next one, I'm going to do the Japanese bound template. I'm just going to do the simplest one. Um, if there's, they show five different ones here in the in the book if you can see that um, so I'm gonna do this one just because I've never done it before um, but if you guys want me to show you how to do the other ones just let me know in the comments below I'm happy to figure it out um, so I'm gonna take uh, this one I'm doing a little bit smaller this one measures well let me get a ruler that'll be easier so I don't remember so this one measures nine um, nine and a quarter by six and a quarter. So then I took my, um, again, this is just computer paper and I measured out nine and a quarter and moved it over an eighth of an inch. So it's just an eighth of an inch smaller, same thing, six and a quarter moved it. So it was an eighth of an inch smaller. Um, that's just easier. That's math is not my strong suit. So, um, it's easier for me to sort of work it out that way. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did before, so I'm going to just go ahead and fold these in the center. Get our V. That did not fold very well. Come on, Sarah. Okay. There we go. And then I'll do the same thing with these. Just do the best I can to get it lined up. Um, again, using five um, computer sheets, so it's going to be five thick, um, but when you fold it, you'll have ten pages. Um, so I'm going to place this together, and I'll pull in the tool here. Okay, so I've brought in my tool here, and you're going to keep this folded together, and here you're going to use the edges. You're going to line that up with the top and the side here and then you want to flip this over so the V is on top and that's going to help hold this in place. 
like so. And again, go ahead and screw this down so it's held there nice and tight. And then if you look, I don't want to go too tight, I want to be able to get it, get it loosened again. Okay, and then if you look, it shows you on here, it's going to be hard to see, but I'm going to hold it up. It shows you which holes you should be piercing in order to get the pattern that you want. So like I said, I'm going to do the simplest. And this is giving me full length. So it's got one, two, three, four. So it's doing... And then one, two, three, four, five. So I'm just gonna sort of measure this out. So if I do here, one, one, two, three, four, five. 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 So I'm gonna do mine every three. Um, it, it really, I think the important thing, because it's a straight one, is that you keep it even. I don't think it matters how many you really have in between, um, but let's, let's give it a go. <laughs> so I'm going to start with um, the second one down here. Okay. And I'm going through more so yeah that's that's a little more difficult since I'm going through sort of a double layer of all this I'm actually going through this would be like 12 layers because of my five on the inside and then six so I, I'm starting on the second one then I'm gonna go one two down one two down one two down one two down one, two, down, one, two, down, Ooh. one, two, down, one, two, down. I don't think that's going to be too, too close. I'm going to, I'm going to go with it. And you know what? I just noticed that this kind of slid as I was doing it. Be careful with that when you're doing it. Make sure you're holding, you're not letting this slide. One, two, down. Because the way that it goes in on each one, I think it's gonna be able to cover it up, so it'll be okay. It's a first attempt. Okay, yeah, see how it just slid a little bit each time I was doing it, so it just was not quite straight. Um, but it did pierce the whole way through. All right. So now we gotta figure out this stitch. Okay, so I don't like that my bottom hole is so close. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim this down and make it slightly smaller. Um, I'm gonna open this up so I can get a nice flat edge and then I'll just refold it. But I'm just gonna trim so I've got about Got a little over a quarter of an inch, so I'm gonna go right about there and just trim that excess off, and that'll make me a little more even um, with the hole that I have at the top. So um, you may have to do that. I, I'm sure there's a way to plan it out so that you can make sure um, that you're, you know, everything's matching. But I'm. I'm not so great with math, so for me it's easier to kind of do it this way and then just, you know, trim off the excess if I need to. Okay, so I'm just making sure I've got all of my um, holes and everything are aligned the way they're supposed to be. Yep, everything looks good. I'm just going to crease this. So this one we stitch with it folded, which is why we did the, the punched holes that way. I'm going to take, I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to need for this one. So I'm, I'm going to do, I think, three times the length. Two, three, that should be good. Okay. And we'll just follow the instructions. I think, I think I've, I think I see what they're doing here. So hopefully it will work. Okay. 
So I'm going to start in the middle. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes. Okay, so I'm going to start on, I'm going to start on the fourth one down. And we're starting coming in from the back. So I'm, I'm pulling my thread in like this. And I'm going to leave a tail along the back. Okay, and then you want to wrap around the outside. So um, just ignore the tail, but you're, you're wrapping around like this. And you're going to come up straight up through that exact same hole. Okay, so you've made your you've made your wrap on both sides now. And now I'm going to move up to the next one. So I'm going to go down this one. And I again need to make that wrap. So this time I'm going to wrap up and around. And I'll go down. And then the same thing. I'm going to go up to up through the next hole okay and again I need to make make my wrap so I'm going to wrap around and go back up again through that same hole okay so I've got my three wraps this is going to fill in later and then again I'm going to go down this top hole and I need to make my wrap so I'm going to wrap around and I will go down the exact same hole again now, since I'm at the top, I need to sort of end it. So I'm going to wrap around from the top, just like I do on the side, wrapping around, and I'm going to go down that same hole. So that one I'm going down three different times. I'm just going to try and keep that, you know, as taut as I can here as I'm working, but not too tight. Taut, but not too tight. Okay, so now we have to fill in the missing. Just like we did with side saddle, we have to fill in the missing ones. So I came down this one, so I'm going to go up as I work my way down and that's going to complete this line here and then I'm going to go down this one and that'll complete my line on the front and then I'm going to come up now we're back to the hole that we started in I'm going to come up that one and that's going to fill in my line I'm going to be completely filled in for the first top of this all right so now I got to work my way down doing the same thing so myself a little more slack here. So I'm going to go down this one and then I need to do my wrap. So I'm going to come up and around the side and go back down that same hole. And now for the next one I'm going to go up and I need to make my wrap. So I'm going to go around and come back up through the same hole. And now I'm going to go down, make my wrap, go down through the same hole. This one I'll go up, make my wrap, go back through the same hole. Okay, and now I'm at the bottom again, so I have to do that bottom wrap. So I'm going to go around and come back up the third time. Whoops, I lost my thread here. Should have given myself a little bit more. Maybe do um, three and a half times. I think I'll have enough here, but I'm just not giving myself a whole lot. Okay, so I've made my wrap, and now I need to do my bottom wrap. So I'm going to go around, and I'm going to come up through this hole for the third time. Okay, and now we're going to, you know, fill in like we do to with the saddle stitch to create this finish line. So I'm going to go down this one and I'm going to go up this one and down this last one. Okay, so there we have the front is complete. We have our straight line and the back is complete. The only thing we... What is that? Oh, it's my tail. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we have the front is complete and the back is all complete except this last one. I'm going to get rid of my needle here and then I'm going to tie this off. So I'm going to tie up towards the knot so or up towards the hole so that we don't have that sort of extra knot there. Okay, and I'll do that nice and tight and then trim off my excess. 
And there we have the, um, they call this the Japanese bound sewing. So there you've got your book. That's pretty cool. I like that. It looks really detailed and it, when I was first looking at the instructions it seems a lot more difficult than it actually was once you just get that wrap and around and loop. Um, once you, you know, get the hang of doing that wrap. Um, it's really, it's really pretty easy or just, it's sort of just an addition to the side saddle stitch. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so these are the two that we created today and I'm going to stop here for now. I will be back with another video on the Coptic binding technique. It's a little more detailed and I wanted to split this so it wasn't such a long video and that way also uh, when you're looking for how to do a particular one, you won't have to scrub through. You can just go to one video or the other and easily find, you know, what you're looking for for reference. So I will be back very shortly uh, with part two with the Coptic binding.